We're given the graph of f prime, and we want to label this number line. So first, let's do the f prime number line. What we're going to put on here is when the derivative is 0 or undefined. Because the derivative is continuous, it's always going to be defined. So we're looking at the zeros of this graph. So that's going to be at negative 3, negative 1, and 2. To the left of negative 3, it's above the x-axis, therefore it's positive. Same thing between negative 3 and negative 1. Between negative 1 and 2, it's below, so it's negative, and to the right of 2 is positive. Now for the second derivative number line, we're looking at when the concavity changes, or in other words, when the, the, first derivative, the derivative of the first derivative is 0. So that's going to be here here, here, and here. So that would be negative 3, uh, negative 2, 0, and 2. So now we're looking at the derivative. So the derivative to the left of negative 3, so the slope here is negative, it's decreasing. Between negative 3 and negative 2, it's increasing, so it's positive. Between negative 2 and 0 is decreasing, so it's negative. 0 to 2, it's increasing, it's positive. Same thing to the right of 2. Now we want to see where f of x is increasing. So f of x increasing, you want to use the first derivative neg uh, number line. So don't include negative 3, negative 1, and 2 because those are where the derivative is 0, so there is no change. So that's going to be from negative infinity to negative 3, negative 3 to negative 1, and then 2 to infinity. So you basically skip over negative 1 through 2 here, because that is negative, it's decreasing. So the local max will occur when it changes from increasing to decreasing. So that only occurs at x equals negative 1. Now we're looking for the point of inflection, so that's going to be when the signs change for the second derivative. So it either changes from concave up to concave down, or concave down to concave up. So for us, you know, if we were just write out the concavity here, we will notice it changes at negative 3, negative 2, and 0. Okay, because that's where the second derivative sign changes. Now we have to look at where it's concave up. So it's, all, it's going to be concave up between negative 3, negative 2, 0 to 2, and 2 to infinity. Again, we don't include uh, the endpoints. And that's because the second derivative is positive.